Hey everyone. Okay, so today I am 15 weeks pregnant. Um, not really a whole lot to report this week as far as symptoms go. Um, I'm still having nausea. Nausea. Um, still having lots of coughing. That results in lots of gagging. However, I'm not throwing up, so that's good. Um, still doing the same thing, just kind of breathing through it when it comes, and then it passes really quickly, and then it's over. Um, but it happens all day long, um, just for different reasons. Uh, like if I take a shower, I get real coffee and gaggy like. Um, if I eat something sweet, I get really gaggy uh, with the cough. Um, or if I kind of start, like if I'm playing with Noah and I'm kind of getting myself worked up and um, not really out of breath, but kind of winded a little bit, it'll happen again and I'll start coughing and gagging. So, I mean, there's a number of different reasons it happens and I'm, I'm not really sure what those reasons are or like why they happen when those certain things are done. But, yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, but, like I said before, you know, it, it happened in all my other pregnancies. So, um... This week, my breasts have not been quite as sore. Um, they're not very tender to the touch now. Um, I am having cramping. Now, I can only assume that the cramping is coming from my uterus stretching and growing. I remember having cramping up until around 20 weeks in the previous pregnancies that I've had. Um, and it's nothing too bad. Like, one day I think it lasted maybe around two hours, three hours, off and on. But, I mean, enough to kind of bother me, but not worry me enough to call the doctor, if that makes any sense. Um, so, but when I do have the cramps, I do try to increase my water intake because um, I know that sometimes um, a lack of water can cause cramping. So I definitely try to do that. Um, that's one thing I've not really been good at um, this pregnancy is um, keeping up with my water. With my last pregnancies, well, not with my first pregnancy, but with my second pregnancy and my last pregnancy, um, I was really good at drinking water because it was like I almost craved water. Like I always wanted ice water. But, um, excuse me, this time I'm not really excuse me again, um, I'm not really wanting um, water so much, so I kind of have to force myself to drink it, but I definitely drink water at least one or two cups a day, which I know I should be drinking a lot more than that, but um, I'm doing the best that I can, um, and I've been drinking juice, and I know that juice isn't really good for you because it's got all that sugar in it, but it's, it's what I'm getting in me right now. Um, but, um, and I definitely drink water throughout the middle of the night, too, so, um, yeah. Hopefully soon, um, it's starting to get a lot warmer, so I'm hoping that maybe the temperature getting warmer will cause me to want to drink more water, so. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm having a little bit of cramping. Um, I think that, um is pretty much it. I am getting a little winded every now and again. Um, still having a little bit of heartburn. Um, I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. It's been a pretty quiet week. I'm still feeling the baby move. Um, the thumps and bumps are still going on. Um, I don't imagine it will be much longer before I can feel the baby on the outside of my stomach. Um, with Noah, I was 17 weeks pregnant when uh, Ryan felt the baby move from the outside. So, hopefully within a few more weeks, I'll be able to feel the baby move on the outside. I can't wait for Noah to feel it. You know, I want Ryan to feel it too, but he's experienced it before. And I just think that it would be so neat for Noah to see the baby moving on the outside and feel the baby move. And I just think he would be pretty amazed by it, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, oh, one thing that's been going on, and I guess this is really kind of for another video, um, I've been thinking about doing another um, pregnant after pregnancy after loss video, which I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do one here soon, but um, 
I've been having lots and lots and lots of anxiety. Um, mainly, like the further along I get in my pregnancy, the more anxious I get, like the more nervous I get. And I know that's really kind of opposite for most people. Most people are like, the further along I get, the better I feel, the more comfortable I am. But it's kind of opposite for me because all of my problems in pregnancy have been in third trimester. So, the further away I get from the first trimester and the closer I get to the third trimester, the more I start worrying. It was around 18 weeks that we found out Carly was um, having issues. Um, and I was 32 weeks when we found out that Hannah had passed away. And um, I was 33 weeks when I was put on bed rest in the hospital with Noah. So it's just, I don't know. I wake up in the morning, that's when I have most of my anxiety. And I think that most of that anxiety comes from the fact that Hannah passed away in my sleep. And so I think when I wake up in the mornings, a lot of the things that go through my mind is, oh my God, did I sleep on my stomach too long? Did I hurt her? Did I cut off the baby's oxygen supply? Um, just random things like that. And then, you know, obviously, <laughs> I'm 15 weeks, so I'm not going to be feeling the baby all the time, continuously, or even in a, in a normal pattern. Um, it's really kind of sporadic when it happens. It happens here and there, and it, there's no pattern to it, and there's not a certain time of the day that I can expect it to happen. So, so I know it's kind of silly for me to think this, but I wake up and I'm like, oh, I, I didn't feel the baby move last night. I wonder if something's wrong with the baby. Um, and really, I'm 15 weeks. The movement has nothing to do with, with anything at this point. So, um... And I'm not going to call my thoughts and feelings irrational, because they're totally not. Um, they're rational based on the fact that I have had uh, problems in the past. So, what may seem irrational to you is very rational to me, um, and it's very much concerning to me. However, you know, it's just something that I'm just going to have to deal with, and it's just a part of pregnancy, pregnancy for me now. Um, the innocence of pregnancy is kind of gone. It um, is a very stressful, very, very stressful time in my life is being pregnant. Um, so anyways, enough of that. Um, if you want to hear more about that, then I'll, um, I'll do another video, uh, maybe in a few days, about pregnancy after loss. Um, it'll be my second video during this pregnancy that I've um, kind of hit on that topic. So um, I think that's it. Uh, today is Easter, so happy Easter to everyone. Um, I hope everybody's had a wonderful Easter today. Um, we, for Easter yesterday, we went to church, um, to my brother's church, actually. He is um, one of the worship, it, he is the worship leader at his church. And um, so we went there and listened to their Easter service. It was really nice. And um, today we got up this morning, and we don't do the Easter bunny. Um, but we did give uh, Noah an Easter basket and um, some little toys and stuff, but it's from us, not an Easter Bunny. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, using the Easter Bunny if that's what you want to do. We grew up with the Easter Bunny when we were little, but it's just something that um, we're not comfortable with doing. So anyhow, um, so we gave him his Easter basket this morning. He was super excited about that. And um, then we went over to my dad's, and um, Ryan and I cooked, and we all ate, and then he had to go to work today. And so I finally just got back home. Noah's sleeping in the bed, so that's kind of been our day. Um, I'm going to get this uploaded, and hopefully I can get a little bit of a nap in before um, he wakes up. I'm pretty exhausted after cooking and all of the stuff going on today. So um, anyhow, let me show you guys my belly. And then I'll talk to you guys next week at week 16. So let me see. Might have to move. Maybe not. Maybe I can sit on my tiptoes. Let me just turn this down. I just don't want to edit this video. I just want to be able to load it. And there. Is my 15 week belly.
belly button is still popped out. You know what? Let me move this camera. I might have to edit this thing anyways. And I'll talk to you guys later.